On today's video, we go from this to this. Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop, guys. On today's video, we're gonna take this frame to the next step. We're gonna go ahead and get a cab mounted on there, and I'm gonna start mocking up where the motor and where all the front suspension goes. So let's just jump right into it. So just a couple things to keep in mind if you guys are thinking about working on a project like this. You do want to keep the engine at about a three degree angle. That's about where they're supposed to operate at from the factory. And you want to make sure that you can get things like this distributor in and out real easily against the firewall. There's a little lip here so it'd be real easy to miss that, have it sitting too far back and then have it hitting that lip later. Then you're cutting out your firewall and it's going to look kind of retarded and doesn't look like you thought everything all through to begin with. So. I did set mine at three degrees. I already had some blocks set here because I've done this numerous times. So I already knew which ones were going to work for this to make it work. So now I think I'm ready to start messing with some of the stuff on the front end to start working on the suspension up there. And once we got everything up there kind of set in place and see if everything's all cohesive and working together, then I can start looking at making a mount to come in here to this motor and hold motor in and finishing up all the front suspension. With that axle sitting up there I can go ahead now and start working on some of the front suspension stuff I showed you guys in the last video a drawing that I already had that uh, had some of the ideas of well, the way I wanted it to kind of look and work but when you draw it up in there life doesn't always work in reality as good as it does on the computer so I need to go ahead and cut some stuff out real quick and actually mock some things up here and get some tests going on to see if it's actually gonna function the way that I think it should in the drawing Okay, so what I've done is actually just cut out some pieces that are going to kind of mimic where everything's going to sit. This isn't, of course, going to be the way I'm going to mount it because I need to have it all boxed in with some bushings and stuff. And this is only eighth inch plate, so I'm obviously going to use something a little bit heavier than that. But this allows me to do something in metal that's cheap and easy to do and will actually show whether or not everything's going to function the way I think it should. So this is going to represent my arm for now. I've made a plate back here to mount to this little airbag that I've got. I need to actually come up with a bolt. Hold on a second. That looks pretty good to start. So I need to actually check the stroke of this thing and see if it's going to give us enough lift to actually give us the right height that I want and still have a little bit of up travel as well. All right, so long story short, I end up having to throw the front axle back down on the ground and uh, get everything all measured out to make sure that everything was going to work as far as getting the right length of stroke out of this little bag to get us our right ride height. Everything's good, so 
I chucked that piece of metal now, now I'm on to the next piece where I've tried to go ahead and mount up a shock, so I'm getting ready to throw it on there right now, and we'll see how that all looks. It's a little bit more cool looking, but it's still nowhere close to what we're going to have at the end, so don't stress over that too much. I wish I had a bolt that was the right size that I could put a nut on there, but I don't, so... We're working with this for now. So now what I'm realizing and seeing is that this shock location isn't going to work or I'm going to have to move the motor, which moving the motor is not really going to be that easy. And So yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to come up with something else. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. I'm going to roll you guys over here to where you can see a little bit more. So yeah, that, that arm comes up there and it's actually right in front of this exhaust manifold. Um, port coming out of the side of the head that's gonna heat this thing up like crazy and that's gonna make this probably not want to work so I guess I'm back to the drawing board a little bit here to just try to figure that out real quick and I don't know I guess we'll see what we come up with after going back to the drawing board I realized this little bag just isn't gonna work I need to have an actual full-size bigger bag that's gonna give me a lot more travel so that's got to go and I ordered up a bigger bag. This one's a 2,600 pound bag. It's actually got eight inches of travel in it. That other little bag only had about three and a half inches of travel. It was something I had already, so I was hoping I was gonna be able to make it work, but it just ended up pushing the axle too far forward every time that I tried to rework it. So the way it was coming out, I just didn't like it. It's already got an exaggerated front end sticking out here, you know, farther than what it would be originally on any other kind of stock vehicle but I just didn't want that being that much more exaggerated all the way farther out. So I've got this new new bag, redesigned a new arm, and now I've actually got it out here where I have about three or four inches of extra gap right here on the front of this. So I'm actually thinking that I might go ahead and cut the front of this frame rail off and redo the whole front of this frame rail and actually pull that back in just a little bit more. And I think that's gonna have a look that I'm gonna like a lot better. All right, so if you guys are still confused about what I'm doing here, since I've got the design kind of figured out, let me kind of explain it to you a little bit more and make it to where everybody's all on the same page and we all understand what I'm doing. So obviously we've got an airbag. Obviously the airbag gets aired up and it gets bigger and smaller with more or less pressure. Everybody understands that. So we've got a pivot point here. We've got a bag that raises on this side. If this bag gets bigger or smaller here, it's going to obviously change the pivot point on through the pivot point and change the side over here that's actually mounted to the axle. So the way I've got it set up right now, this bag is not even touching the arm right there. And this is going to be about ride height with this arm. So we're going to have about mid stroke of this bag being at our ride height. At that point, when we're at ride height, we'll be able to dump the bag, which will actually allow the bag to, or the arm to go down something along that lines. When this goes down, then that side goes up, that side's attached to the axle. Axle can't move off of the ground, of course, or through the ground, so it makes the frame move via that pivot point. And the reverse happens when we air up the bag. So the bag gets aired up, somewhere, if it's all the way up, it's gonna be more like that, because there'll be a mounting tab here and everything then that'll be aired all the way up. At that point, that puts us on the tape measure right there at about 12 and a half inches. And when we go down all the way, that puts us real close to six inches. So we're gonna have a little over six inches of travel on this thing. So that's going to be plenty. I think we're going to be able to ride down the road. It's going to have a smooth ride. We're not going to be bottoming out and having any crazy suspension stuff happen in there to make this thing not drivable. So I think we're on the right track. Now all we really need to do is just get to the point where we can put all this stuff together and make all the parts and pieces and put it all together as one unit. Obviously that's going to be a shit ton more work. So I'm going to go ahead and call this video quits for today. But I went ahead and mocked this thing up one more time. I even stuck a zip tie on the mirror up here so that you guys can see what that looks like. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you next time.